Hello guys, today I teach you how to determine the internal forces of a beam. If it is given the beam is in equilibrium condition, the beam should be fulfilled these three conditions. Total forces acting on x direction should be zero. Total forces acting on y direction should be zero. Total movement acting around any point should be zero. Then you should know the basic support types for a beam and how to mark the reaction forces for each type on a beam. The first one is the cable support. When we mark the reaction forces on the beam, we should think about in which direction the beam can move and cannot. We should always mark the reaction forces along the direction in which the beam cannot move. In this case, we mark the reaction force along the cable. The second one is the roller support. In this case, the beam cannot move along the y direction. Therefore, we mark the reaction force along the y direction. The third one is the smooth support. In this case, the beam cannot move along the direction perpendicular to the plane. Therefore, we mark the reaction force perpendicular to the plane. Fourth one is the pin support. In this case, the beam cannot move along either x or y direction. Therefore, we mark the reaction force along the x and y directions. The last one is the fixed support. In this case, the beam cannot move along either x or y direction. Therefore, we mark the reaction force along the x and y directions. Also, a movement cannot exist. Therefore, we should mark the movement also. Another thing you should remember is that there are two types of internal forces. Those are normal forces and shear forces. Normal forces include compressive and tensile forces. Compressive force is a force that acts on an object by pressing inward, causing it to become compact. Tensile force is a force that acts on an object by pulling outward, causing it to become stretched. And shear force is an internal force that acts parallel to the cross section of a material, causing it to deform or fail by sliding one part relative to another. We should always mark shear forces by using a half arrow and there is a method to determine the sign of the shear and movement whether positive or negative. It's called sign conversion. If a shear force tends to rotate the beam clockwise around its fixed point, it should be taken as positive. If the movement tends to rotate the beam anticlockwise around its fixed point, it should be taken as positive. So I use this method for all my future tutorials. So these are the basic things you should know. Let's go to the question. This is the question I am going to solve. So we have to find resultant internal loadings acting on section AA and section BB. First we should assume the beam is in the equilibrium condition. Then we should mark all reaction forces. At the end of A, we have a pin support. So we should mark the forces along the x and y direction. At the end of B, we have a smooth support. So we should mark the reaction force perpendicular to its plane. Then by considering the equilibrium condition, we can find all reaction forces. By equaling total forces to zero along the y direction, we can find ya. So ya minus 5 sine 45 equals to zero. ya minus 5 into 0 0.7071 equals to zero. So ya equals 3.5355 kilonewton. If we consider the equilibrium of forces along the x direction and will an equation, it includes two unknown forces xA and xB. Therefore, we are unable to solve this equation and get a value for any force. But 
if we consider the equilibrium of moment around the point a we can find the xb so xb into 6 cos 45 minus 4.5 into 5 equals 0 xb into 6 into 0.7071 minus 22.5 equals 0 4.2426 into xb equals 22.5 xb equals 22.5 over 4.2426 now we have 5.3034 kilonewtons as xb now we can consider the equilibrium of forces along the x direction and find xa so xa minus xb plus 5 cos 45 equals to 0 xa minus 5.3034 plus 5 into 0.7071 equal to 0 xa minus 5.3034 plus 3.5355 equals 0 xa minus 1.7679 equals 0 so xa equals 1.7679 kilonewtons now we have found all reaction forces then we can find the internal forces now we should section this beam first i section this beam from point c through the aa axis then i can mark the reaction forces acting at point a then the internal shear force is acting the downward direction because the resultant reaction force should be balanced after that we can mark the compressive force along the axis of the beam and there is a movement around the point a now we can find unknown forces by considering the equilibrium condition of the beam first i consider the equilibrium of forces along the y direction so sigma f along the y direction is equal to zero 3.5355 minus S1 sin 45 minus F1 cos 45 equals 0. 3.5355 minus 0.7071 into S1 minus 0.7071 into F1 equals 0. Now I name this equation as 1. Then I consider the equilibrium of forces along the x direction. So sigma f along the x direction is equal to 0. 1.7679 plus S1 cos 45 minus F1 sin 45 equals 0. 1.7679 plus 0.7071 into S1 minus 0.7071 into F1 equals 0. Now I name this equation as 2. Then we can simplify these equations and find F1 and S1. Then I consider the equilibrium of movement around the point A. So sigma MA1 equal to 0. 
എം എ വൺ മൈനസ് എസ് വൺ ഇൻറ്റു ത്രീ ഈക്വൽ സീറോ എം എ വൺ മൈനസ് വൺ പോയിൻറ്റ് ടു ഫോർ നയൻ നയൻ ഇൻറ്റു ത്രീ ഈക്വൽ സീറോ സോ എം എ വൺ ഈക്വൽസ് ത്രീ പോയിൻറ്റ് സെവൻ ഫോർ നയൻ സെവൻ കിലോ ന്യൂട്ടൺ മീറ്റർ നൗ ഐ സെക്ഷൻ ദിസ് ബീം ഫ്രോം പോയിൻറ്റ് സി ത്രൂ ദ ബി ബി എക്സിസ് ഐ മാർക്ക് ഓൾ ഫോഴ്സസ് ആസ് ദ സെയിം ആസ് ദ പ്രീവിയസ് first i consider the equilibrium of forces along the y direction so sigma f along the y direction is equal to 0 3.5355 minus s2 equal to 0 s2 equals 3.5355 kN then i consider the equilibrium of forces along the x direction so sigma f along the x direction is equal to 0 F2 minus 1.7679 equals 0. So, F2 equals 1.7679 kN. Then, I consider the equilibrium of movement around the point A. So, sigma MA2 equal to 0. എം എ ടു പ്ലസ് എഫ് ടു ഇൻറ്റു ത്രീ കോസ് ഫോർട്ടി ഫൈവ് മൈനസ് എസ് ടു ഇൻറ്റു ത്രീ കോസ് ഫോർട്ടി ഫൈവ് ഈക്വൽ സീറോ എം എ ടു പ്ലസ് വൺ പോയിൻറ്റ് സെവൻ സിക്സ് സെവൻ നയൻ ഇൻറ്റു ത്രീ ഇൻറ്റു സീറോ പോയിൻറ്റ് സെവൻ സീറോ സെവൻ വൺ മൈനസ് ത്രീ പോയിൻറ്റ് ഫൈവ് ത്രീ ഫൈവ് ഫൈവ് ഇൻറ്റു ത്രീ ഇൻറ്റു സീറോ പോയിൻറ്റ് സെവൻ സീറോ സെവൻ വൺ ഈക്വൽ സീറോ എം എ ടു പ്ലസ് ത്രീ പോയിൻറ്റ് സെവൻ ഫൈവ് സീറോ ടു മൈനസ് സെവൻ പോയിൻറ്റ് ഫോർ നയൻ 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 ഈക്വൽ സീറോ എം എ ടു മൈനസ് ത്രീ പോയിൻറ്റ് സെവൻ ഫോർ നയൻ സെവൻ ഈക്വൽ സീറോ സോ എം എ ടു ഈക്വൽസ് ത്രീ പോയിൻറ്റ് സെവൻ ഫോർ നയൻ സെവൻ കിലോ ന്യൂട്ടൺ മീറ്റർ ഇഫ് യു ആർ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റഡ് ഷെയർ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വിത്ത് യുവർ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് ഡോണ്ട് ഫോർഗെറ്റ് ടു സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ആൻഡ് ലൈക്ക് If you have any doubts the comment section is open for you thank you and see you in the next video